Can you imagine the perfect city? My perfect city would probably have lots of restaurants and a comic book store. And definitely a coffee shop. Can you imagine a city more magnificent than anything you've ever seen on Earth? In the book of Revelation, John had a vision where he saw an incredible holy city coming down from heaven. John describes this holy city in Revelation 21, verses 10 and 11. And he carried me away in the spirit to a mountain great and high, and showed me the holy city, Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God. It shone with the glory of God, and its brilliance was like that of a very precious jewel, like a jasper, clear as crystal. It was breathtaking. The walls of this city, the New Jerusalem, are made of precious stones like jasper, sapphire, and emerald. The streets are pure gold, as clear as glass. Wait, gold isn't clear. John is attempting to describe the indescribable. This new Jerusalem isn't bland or boring. It's bright and beautiful, filled with the dazzling light of God's glory. It's beautiful beyond our imagination. So, new Jerusalem, old Jerusalem, what's the difference? The new Jerusalem that John sees isn't the earthly city of Jerusalem. What John is seeing is a perfect heavenly city. The earthly Jerusalem experiences pain, suffering, and death. John hears a voice from the throne declaring an ending to all suffering, pain, and death in the New Jerusalem. The old Jerusalem had unrighteous kings. The New Jerusalem is ruled by the King of Kings. In the old Jerusalem, Jesus bared a cross. In the New Jerusalem, Jesus wears a crown. While we might face pain and sorrow in our lives, we can trust in God and his promise that one day all will be made new and death will be no more. Trusting in God and his promises is one way that we can steward our lives. And as we put our hope in him and his promises, a great place to start can be the steward's prayer. Lord, what do you want me to do today with all you have trusted me with to honor you, to advance your kingdom? God bless you as you trust in him today.